Amen. So, we haven't talked about the root cellar in a while, and uh, that's because I haven't done much on the root cellar in a while. But today, finally, we did get around to getting the hole dug. I'll go ahead and pan over there. That's the that's the new root cellar. It's on the uphill side. If you guys remember the old root cellar, I don't know how this looks with me leaning down like this. <laughs> we got a we got our, our backup camera woman today. Zoe is helping us out. Uh, Mariah's a little covered over in the house right now. Uh, so I, we're trying to keep the height levels sort of equal. Anyway, sorry, back on track. Uh, I, I, I had some, some weird thought of doing it by hand. I'm just overloaded. I got too much going on and I'm not doing any of it well. And we're in one of those phases where things just keep going wrong. Everything's breaking. It happens probably once a year where it's just like everything that can go wrong goes wrong. So I've already cut out the, the planned wheat crop for this winter. And I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to get a hand dug root cellar in. I'll, I'll be doing good to get all the hand cut firewood in and get the uh, uh, manure in on the garden this year. It's just looking like one of those years. So we rented the Terramite, uh, the little sucker. Uh, some folks tell me it, they don't get much work out of them, but I got a lot of work out of this one and it did it on less than a tank of gas, which I think is is less than five gallons. I worked it from about 8.30 to about 4.30 and uh, I, I got that hole dug and I got some stuff moved around and I worked on the driveway a little bit. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it for $200 rental fee though. It needed to get a lot done to have been worth it. But there you go. So you should be seeing some more on the root cellar soon. Uh, I was, I was going to try something funky with the foundation. Uh, my father-in-law has talked me out of it, which is probably a good thing. Because when I try funky things, I then usually have to go back and do them the right way. Uh, reinventing the wheel is... There's a reason why the wheel's round, it works, you know? Uh, so, so there you go, man. Root Cellar's back on track. We look forward to... ...conditions never come true, but boy, I would love to have it done this winter. So when we started harvesting next year, we'd have somewhere to put it. Thanks, man. Hi, Dad.